Hello, everyone. My name is Stephanie Menadi, and you are in Stephanie Menadi Kitchen. Welcome, everyone. So today we are gonna make chaka. So chaka is like a a type of soup, like a casserole with some beans and corn. So let's see how I'm gonna do it. So right now I do have some smoked pork, but usually the chaka made with um pig feet but it's okay since you know we are in america like not everything's gonna be easy to um to find like our country so this one is a broken corn so this is one of the main ingredients for you to make chaka so this is broken corn not frozen corn but broken corn like dry broken corn so this one right there, it's a red bean. You need those two. You really need those two to make your chaka. And as well, we have calabaza squash, which is the jumu, okay? Calabaza squash, so, which is jumu. And some of us call it pumpkin squash, okay? um and this one is a garlic salt and a black pepper oil which is a vegetable oil and uh, i have some hot sauce you can use like a bernard um, pepper which is the piment book and um, i got my spice okay and this is sesame goya seasoning and a maggie cube all right now let's start it <laughs> let the party start it okay so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna measure um the beans and also the corn which is the broken um broken dry corn i'm gonna get two cup of each two cup of dry broken corn and as well two cup of kidney beans red kidney beans okay and we're just gonna wash it all together after we finish the measure and we're gonna as well okay as you can see you can really really can uh, realize that it's a broken coin and then I am getting two cup okay exactly two cup of coin not frozen coin that's why I like I keep repeating it it has to be broken corn and it has to be dry and right now I am getting um, two cup of uh, red kidney beans and after I finish to wash them I'm gonna add a couple garlic gloves and some scallion leaf this is two cup of red kidney beans and you can just mix it all together and uh, give it like a nice rinse because uh, as you can see they a little cloud the water is really cloud so the more it clouds so you have to keep rinsing it so until the water getting so clear that's mean it's clean I'm gonna give it a second rinse and after that I'm gonna be adding six cup of water so some people they let the corn soak overnight okay like i don't do that what i do i just let it boil because i like my food to be so natural so i just let it boil like for like about 45 minutes until it well cook i don't let it soak overnight okay you can do that you can let it soak overnight if you don't want to waste any time with your corn because the corn usually very hard to cook or you can as well use a, a pressure cooker okay but uh, like I said I just like my food to be like that so I add a little scallion and then a couple garlic gloves and I'm gonna add some oil and we're gonna cover it and um, let it boiling for about 45 minutes okay and right after we're gonna start working on something else we're not gonna waste any time okay don't stir it too much okay and let it cover okay 
until we come to a simmer and boiling really well. So why not this is dumb meat? Like I said, you can use uh, uh, pig, pork, okay, um, or you can use other meat. That like if you don't eat um, pork, you can use other meat. But as you can see, like I told you before, I'm gonna be using smoked pork, okay. But uh, usually, traditionally, chaka made with um. Um, salted pig feet okay so that's that's traditional salted pig feet uh, that's mean that um like pie cochon but sally okay pie cochon sally see 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 but uh, in my case it's almost the same thing <laughs> but it's not a pig feet it's just uh, smoked pork okay so um you can you can see that i don't boil in water or clean it and then rinse it a lot because when when they say smoked meat meat that's mean the meat already half cooked so if you rinse it you're just gonna just so you know rinse all the taste they're all gonna be gone so be careful just give it like a quick rinse with a warm water and after that you put your Haitian spice and like a cube and little oil and then you let it cook okay right now this is the calabaza squash which is the jumu okay some of us like I said call it pumpkin all right so we're just gonna get the seed out and clean it well okay no seed please <laughs> And uh, we're gonna give it like a, a quick rinse again and slice it maybe into a quarter, like four. And uh, you don't have to remove the skin because it's super difficult to remove the skin right now. Okay. I can show you, you see, if you take your knife and then you try to remove it, it will take you a while. It will take time. So you can just remove the seed and rinse it and let it boil like that and after that I'm gonna show you uh, a technique so you can just get the skin out all right so stay tuned and for those of you who haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel please do that if you like my videos and for those of you that already subscribe a big thanks for you all of you all of you thank you for the support and uh, don't forget to comment, don't forget to share the video and as well at the end of the video I will show you how to get to my website to buy some dinnerware and some drinks like uh, Cremas Vanilla, Cremas um, Regular and like liquor, like all kind of Cremas most likely. You can check on the description of this video to find the link for my Facebook, my Instagram oh all right as you can see how things going on right now i have my meat on this side and my squash bowling and uh, i do have my corn and my beans on the other side so for the meat make sure you keep icing it like from 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 time to time add a little water because so you don't want it to be burned and for the beans and the corn do not stir it too many times but keep icing it so you can add a warm water from time to time as you can see things already go down <laughs> it's already almost look like a chaka so let me check about my beans and my corn it's pretty much cooked for me and my meat is already done it's like a ragu i'm just gonna add it to the to the bra where we have the corn and the beans we're just gonna add it and after that we're gonna be working with the calabaza uh, squash okay and uh, we can finish our chaka so it's super easy and yummy and I love chaka but so you know some people they use chaka to do some witchcraft things but it's just a culture it's it's something so like all of Haitian like to eat like me personally so I don't believe in 
like the food you eat for Ulua or things like that. It's just like it's a food God created. Okay, it's only become like another you know, things unless if you dedicated um, dedicated to something else. But once you you just make something to eat, you pray, you eat, and that's fine to me. But you have to be careful uh, with the chakra. Do not eat chakra everywhere. Okay, do not just go to somebody else and they offer you chakra and then you have it. So because they might doing it for something special and then you participate it so be careful but if you like it you want to make it please go ahead and make your chakra and have fun enjoy it like, like I'm gonna enjoy my soon <laughs> and I cannot wait okay so that's the technique as you can see that um, I just put like all the scratch together and then they really really cook like super cook so it make it more easier for me okay you just stirring it with the water like the same water that cook the 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 squash so that's the same water that I keep stirring it from time to time until I got the puree okay and that's it and all the skin I'm gonna left out you will see so nothing gonna be in it super easy you got all your juice all your puree and um, the, the 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 zoom which is the squash what it what it does for your chakra it, it give a color and it give it like a nice sweet taste okay some people they don't put it but uh, you really gotta put your 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 calabaza squash in your chakra because of the color and the taste it give it like a nice sweet flavor okay and you just gotta let it reduce more okay don't let it boil like for 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 uh, for too long because when it's cooled down you will like um become like um like a uh, la bouillie <laughs> okay so do not let it um cool for too long well yeah you will let it cool but do not let it cook for too long Cause if you let it boiling and boiling and, and boiling, it will reduce a lot. And then when it cool down, mm -mm, you will not like it. Okay, so make sure you taste your food. Okay, when you taste it, you know what missing. Like I just um, taste mine, and I add a little uh, butter, and I add some Maggi cube, salt, and pepper. And then if you like spicy stuff, you can add more hot sauce or more um, burner pepper, which is the Pima book. You can add it. All right. It's pretty much it. And then you just let it sit there and then reduce. Okay. Don't let it reduce for too long. Like I said, once it cools down, it will become like saggy. Yeah, that's the word. It will become too saggy. So be careful okay and as well some some people they make chaka when 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 they are making the chaka they add the uh, plantain okay they add other stuff so but normally chaka is it's just the meat the corn and the beans and the squash simple as that oh my god it looks so beautiful and it smells so good that's amazing i cannot wait to taste it wow <laughs> guys mm, 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 mm. that's super super yummy already and then like it's a very very healthy food remember corn is good for you and the beans the squash all those things are really good for you really good for your health so it's not like a super heavy food okay like rice so you don't have to eat rice every day you can just make something different there's a lot of other foods that we Haitian usually make so you can enjoy all of them so today I chose to make chaka because I love chaka and I wanted to share with you and I hope you guys love the video and share the video and um, thank you for the love and the support so stay tuned so this is my final product as you can see a yummy super yummy the chaka Oof. Mm. 
looks like <laughs> my cousin needs some my mom cannot wait we all cannot wait to eat some all right so we're just gonna see you next time for another video so that's my chaka oh <laughs> That's when you know you're Haitian. <laughs> I know you guys are gonna be craving this chaka. Well, it's easy. Just buy your corn and your beans and your meat and some garlic and scallion, you know, make it cute. You have your Haitian spice in your fridge, I'm pretty sure. You can go ahead and make it. <laughs> so, this is my vanilla crema as well. I have some liquor and I have some nice plate, nice dinnerware on my website, Stephanie Minadi. Um, no, not Stephanie Minadi, but Stephanie dash enterprise.com but don't worry okay you will find all this thing um at the description video this video right now you will find it see you next